In Lesson 3.5, the target states, I can add and subtract fractions. To add and subtract fractions, you need a like denominator, a common denominator. So the hardest part of adding and subtracting fractions is finding that common denominator. Sometimes fractions come with a common denominator. For instance, 3 tenths plus 1 tenth. If I were adding 3 tenths plus 1 tenth, all I'm really concerned with is 3 plus 1. Because they're both tenths, it's really just 3 plus 1, they're both over 10, 3 plus 1 tenths. So 3 tenths plus 1 tenth is 4 tenths. Most of the time you're going to have to reduce the fraction to lowest terms, and since 4 tenths can be reduced, they're both divisible by 2, so a common factor of 4 and 10 is 2, 2 to, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 10 divided by 2 is 5. So 3 tenths plus 1 tenth is 2 fifths. Another example would be 1 fourth plus 2 fourths. And the reason we can add fractions with a common denominator is because they're written with the same sense. I can add up quarters. If I have 3 quarters by way of 1 quarter plus two more quarters, two quarters is a half, I have a total of three quarters. So if I had one-fourth of a dollar and two-fourths of a dollar, I have 75 cents, or three-fourths, because one-fourth plus two-fourths equals three-fourths. The reason we need a common denominator is because one-fourth plus two-fourths, or one-quarter plus two more quarters, is a total of three-quarters. But three-eighths plus two-fifths is not five of anything. It's not five-eighths or five-fifths or five-thirteenths. We have to find a common denominator in, for instance, three-eighths plus five-twelfths. We're looking for the least common multiple of two numbers. In this case, the denominators are 8 and 12. So we're finding a point where 8 and 12 meet. 8 can become, so we're looking at the multiples of 8. 8 can become 16, 24, 32, 40. We're looking for the least common multiple of 8 and 12. 12 can become 24, 36, 48, 60. You see on each of these lists for 8 and 12, they can both become 24. That's our least common multiple. It's the lowest number that they can both become, 8 and 12, meet up at 24. So I'm going to rewrite each of these fractions with the denominator of 24. So that I can add up the numerators. So what did we do to 8 to make it 24? Well, 8 times 3 is 24. Whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator to create an equal fraction. 3 times 3 is 9. 12 times 2 is 24. I also have to multiply the numerator times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. So now they're both written with like denominators. So I can just add the numerators. It's 9 plus 10 24 or 19 24 and 19 is a prime number, it can't be reduced. There are no common factors of 19 and 24. So that's my answer in lowest terms. This target is about subtracting and adding fractions, so let's try two more and let's try one of each. We'll start with a subtraction problem, 1 tenth minus 5 eighths. We're looking for the least common multiple of 10 and 8. So 8 can become 40, and I know 10 can become 40 because it ends in a 0, so they're both going to be rewritten as fractions with the denominator of 40. 8 times 5 is 40, so I have to do the same thing to the numerator. 5 times 5 is 25. 10 times 4 is 40, so I have to do the same thing to the numerator. 1 times 4 is 4. So this is kind of a hard one, because now what am I dealing with? They're both over 40, but all I'm really concerned with is 4 minus 25. I have to subtract the numerators. 
I'm going to end up with a negative fraction because 4 minus 25 is 4 plus negative 25. Four black chips are going to cancel out four of those 25 red chips, so I would be left with 21 negatives over 40. 21 fortieths cannot be reduced. 21 is divisible by 3 and 7 and 21, and none of those numbers go into 40. So my final answer is negative 21 fortieths. We'll try one more. What's the least common multiple of 3 and 8? 8 can become 16 and 24 and 32, while 3 can also become 24. So that's going to be the point where they meet. So they can both be written as 24 fourths. And I'm adding this time. 8 times 3 is 24. 7 times 3 is 21. So I'm multiplying each denominator by the other denominator. 3 times 8 is 24, and 2 times 8 is 16. So 21 plus 16 is 37. So it's 37 24 This cannot be reduced by dividing the numerator and denominator by a common factor, but it can be reduced because it's an improper fraction. 24 goes into 37 one time. 37 minus 24 is 13. The remainder is 13. So it's 1 and 13 whoops, 24 is my final answer. Okay, you give it a try. Click pause, try a subtraction problem and an addition problem, and when you're ready to see the answers, click play and I'll go over them so you can check your work. Click pause and try these two problems out. Good luck. Okay, here we go. One-fifth and one-third. 5 and 3 can both meet at 15. So the least common multiple of 5 and 3 is 15. It happened to be 5 times 3. So I know I'm going to multiply this numerator times 5 and this one times 3. So this is 3 fifteenths and this is 5 fifteenths. So I'm subtracting. So it's 3 minus 5 over 15. 3 minus 5 is 3 plus negative 5 is negative 2 fifteenths and 2 does not go into 15, so that's my final answer. It's in lowest terms. Negative 2 fifteenths. The other problem is 2 6 plus 1 fourth. So, um, 6 and 4 can both become 12. The least common multiple of 6 and 4 is 12. So I'm going to re -read, I rewrite each fraction with a denominator of 12 times 2 6 times 2 is 12, so the numerator times 2 is 4, times 3, 4 times 3 is 12, so the numerator times 3 is 3, so it's 4 twelfths plus 3 twelfths, which is a total of 7 twelfths. 7 twelfths cannot be reduced, so it is also in lowest terms.